Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for March 28th, 2022. The character The Watcher and the modifiers are Insanity. Start with a random deck of 50 cards. Red cards, red cards are appearing in rewards and shops. And Night Terrors, resting at rest sites, heals 100% of your HP, but costs 5 max HP. So Insanity with two colors is always difficult because it's going to be hard to get collector bonuses, but I think I have to try it. Hobo and Flicknickum, really good scores. Hobo with 1603 and Flicknickum with 1553, three, uh, 50 points apart. Warpaw with 1478, that's uh, about 75 points apart. And then Pelts with 1453 and ST Walker with 1426. I'm actually somewhat amazed that there's such a wide range of uh, scores. That's a few scores from yesterday. So um, yeah, I went for Sneko Eye and I think that was the wrong decision. Even though uh, some people, I think Chef in the Cloud didn't uh, like, so most people went for Wrist Blade instead of the um, Sneko Eye. So Chef in the Cloud didn't like the Wrist Blade, but everybody else um, seemed to have done much better with the Wrist Blade than the Sneko Eye. And I, I feel like I, I lost some of the perfects because um, Sneko Eye just giving me uh, some unfortunate draws. So Zolar ended up with thir uh, in 37th place with 13 of 4. That's a really good score. And yeah, I think he relied heavily on the Wrist Blade and um, that uh, helped him out quite a bit. So uh, yeah, yesterday's run was not that great on my part. So yeah. Um, yeah, let's let's just move on. But it was it was an interesting run, definitely. All right. Uh, so insanity, red cards, and purple cards. Let's see how the starting deck looks like. Uh, there was once an opportunity for me to remove all duplicates in a insanity run. I think it was an insanity and diverse run, and I had like five duplicates. So I went for Highlander, but already, yeah, I'm I already have one collector most for Iron Weave, so that's not gonna happen. Um, but yeah, I, I think I'll just try to go for as many collector bonuses as possible. Let me briefly scan how many ways I have to enter Wrath. I see the crescendo there. Uh, well, Meditate allows me to exit it. And then two Tranquilities. That is not looking good. So I just have one way to enter Wrath, right? With the crescendo, there's nothing else. I'm sort of skinning quickly, scanning quickly, but I don't think I saw anything else. Okay, well, uh, hopefully I'll get some more ways to enter Wrath. That will definitely be useful. All right, four elite path. Oh, very nice. Okay, awesome. So I can either get to these three elites in a row uh, from the left or the right. If I come at them from the left, I'll get an early shop and question mark room. On the right, I'll get three shops. Yeah, let's go on the right. Nice. Rare that I get four elites on act one. Um, okay, so 11 incoming. I think to see reality prostrate. And do I need safety? Um, yeah, there's no reason not to play it. And then I think I'll do... I have to choose between conclude... Actually, no. I can do collect and then miracle conclude. Okay. And then here, let's do shockwave, consecrate... I should have done the crush joints, although I don't think that matters. And then seven incoming. Let's do thunderclap, follow up, and that's enough to kill. Good. All right. Iron wave, shrug it off. Windmill strike. I already have enough iron wave, so let's go with the shrug it off. Okay. Cultist. Um, so yeah, let's do Thunderclap, Consecrate. Uh, I think I'll headbutt the Thunderclap back and then conclude. And I should be able to kill with any decent attack. All right. Okay, Ancient Potion. Sands of Time might be good. I don't have a, cu a current copy. So I, if I want to go for Collector Bonuses, I should take the Protect. But let's take the San Sands of Time. That might be handy. Um, I probably don't need the Ancient Potion, right? I don't know. I mean... Who knows? Maybe I'll get a collector bonus for True Grid. I already have two of them. So yeah, let's go with the um, remove the ancient potion and get the courier. The merchant restocks cards, relics, and potions, and all prices are reduced by twenty percent. That's actually really nice. Okay, might allow me to get even more uh, collector bonuses. All right, let me do. Um, hang on. So I have twelve. That means I need to deal seven damage. Yeah, I can do weave follow up. Actually, I can do flying sleeves and then conclude. Come. Okay. Another sense of time. I don't have any strength for Pummel to be worth it. Let's go for Sons of Time number two. And then, yep, there's Curse number one as well as a bunch of gold. Good. And then Lagavulin. Yeah, here I probably want to wait. I uh, Let me sort by type because I want to see if I have any powers. So between the attacks and skills. Okay, good. So I have Combust, Dark Embrace, and Inflame. Uh, that's fine. Not not the best powers, but I'll, I'll take them. All right, so I probably should wait for them. Also, I can try to get some Mantra in the meantime, right? Uh, let me actually... Um, what does Prey upgrade to? I actually honestly don't know. Uh, let me check that real quick. Um, four Mantra. Okay, that might be worth an upgrade. Yeah, I, I rarely use Prey, so that's that's why I'm so un, unprepared here. Let's do Prey. That also allows me to play Miracle and Collect. Okay. 
All right, crush drones, wheel kick. Yeah, I think I'll wait here one more turn, and then hopefully next turn I can start with a good attack. Yeah, a protect is really nice to have here. Um, not the best way to start, but yeah, let's just do iron waves and then follow up. Um, I guess I can do tranquility. Or should I keep it? Let's do tranquility and then hope if I enter wrath, it'll give me extra energy. Uh, well, empty body gives me extra energy too. Interesting. Um, so I might have trouble defending. I think I have to do dark embrace, then empty body. And then prostrate. Actually, I forgot about the empty body, so I should be able to fully defend with the protect, right? Let's do that. Okay. Not great that I don't have to protect anymore, though. Uh, oh, I didn't realize how many pressure points I have. Um, so I have... Oh, just two. Okay, and I drew the only two I have. Uh, let me see. Let's do Miracle first. Okay, then Cut Through Fate. Meditate, Headbutt, none of that. Oh, actually, I can Headbutt the... Um, the protect, although that's not going to help me either. Yeah, let's hope for... I don't even know what I'm hoping for. Something better, I guess. Battle Trance might help. Let's do another Miracle. Okay, Shrug it up works. Uh, let me get rid of the Consecrate first. I could do two pressure points. Let me first do Shrug it off. Inside, very nice. Uh, disarm would draw me something. The Deceive Reality. Okay, perfect. So now I can fully defend with the Safety. Um, so let's do that, and then, you know what? Why not do double pressure points? Yeah, sure. And then let me put the Battle Trance back. Oh, I'm gonna draw it anyway, right? Yeah, fine. Alright, and then just lucky. Trigger is not necessary. Next turn, next turn, I am not getting attacked, so let's try to deal some damage. Um, okay, let me do Inflame, Consecrate. I'm really hoping to be able to enter Wrath next turn. Let's just do Sands of Time here. Okay. Mm hmm. I am unable to enter Divinity yet. Heavy Blade is 17. Uh, actually, wait, I have the power through and prostrate. Okay, so I should be able to fully defend. And then next turn I can do the Sands of Time. So let's do Heavy Blade now. Actually, I can do Flying Sleeves and then Headbutt. And then next turn I should be able to kill. Okay, awesome. All right, yeah. Um, that was that actually went pretty well. Uh, wait, if I do pray out into divinity, right? So, yeah, no real, no real reason to do that, but it's fine. We got an ancient T-set. What if we enter our next combo with two extra energy? Yeah, I feel like I need more ways to enter wrath, so let's take a second crescendo. Okay, I have no idea what to upgrade. There's nothing that becomes innate here, right? Uh, up and upgrade. Maybe the Sands of Time, Meditate, Dark Embrace might be nice. Maybe, maybe I should upgrade the Dark Embrace, because if I draw it... Wait, who's my final boss? Guardian. Maybe the Disarm? Okay, uh, let's upgrade the Dark Embrace now, and then let me remember to upgrade the Disarm uh, in the next rest site. Okay, Gremlin Knob. Mm, not the best start here. Uh, let's see. So, I do have a lot of energy. I can play everything, right? Let's do Inflame, Combust, then Prey, Crush Joints, and then might as well do Miracle Collect, even though the Miracle is going to be a little difficult to use here. Six incoming. Mm, Shockwave's not going to be enough. Yeah, I have a lot of skills here. This is going to be rough. And I don't have any potions to help me either. Let me see what the Havoc gives me. I think that's my only hope. It could play Conclude and it might be screwed. Okay, Cut Through Fate. Battle Trance is another skill. Yeah, let's risk it. Alright, let's do Empty Body. No, Battle Trance first. Um... Uh, I I don't I don't think there's a way I can fully defend without giving him too much strength. So yeah, actually I I'm definitely I'm sure that there's no way. I could play miracle. Okay, let me think about this. If I do miracle, shockwave, and then prostrate and the uh, empty body, that's eleven block and then weakness. But I've have given him uh, six extra strength, so sixteen will drop down to twelve. And yeah, yeah, there's no way I can fully defend. All right, let's do clothesline then, and I'll just wait. Come. Okay. 20. Uh, let's do Thunderclap, Weave. Uh, I think I'll do Power Through. And, um, well, let's do Shrug It Off because I'm pretty sure I should be able to kill with the Sense of Time next turn. Okay. Alright, yeah, definitely no way to perfect this one. Alright, got Giria. You can now gain Strength at Rest Sites up to three times, as well as Fruit Juice and another Cut Through Fate. Card draw might not be a bad idea. Um, wait, how many? Actually, I just need one more Consecrate, I just noticed. Just Lucky and Follow Up. So I have... One follow-up, and I definitely had a just lucky. Yeah, one just... Okay, so I have one of each. Let's go for a second cut through fade then. 
Yeah, Jujubisha. Normal enemy combats are no longer encountered in question mark rooms. That's nice. Increase the chance of me getting the cursor modifier. And uh, yeah, here I'll definitely wait. Nice to have the protect. Um, do I want to do crescendo? Might not be a bad idea. Yeah, let's do prey. And then I think I'll do crescendo. A little risky, but let's try to kill here if I can. Oh, I got a tranquility out of it, so that's good. Um, okay, so I can do clothesline so that he's weakened next turn. Let's start with the consecrates. Okay. I could also do wheel kick. I could do wheel kick and then clothesline. Uh, let me do wheel kick first. Follow up is great. And then clothesline. I am not that far away from being able to kill here. 29 seems very doable, especially if the flying sleeves does, deals a bunch of damage. 24. Yeah, I can kill here. That's exactly why I want to have more ways to enter wrath. A teardrop locket. Start each combat in calm. Very nice. And... I don't think I have these two, right? Let's go with another clothesline. Um, do I want to upgrade something? Uh, it's going to be hard to upgrade anything useful. Let's gain strength. Although I do want to upgrade the disarm before the boss fight, just in case. I mean, it would be great if I can draw it. Um, okay, I didn't get the sentry. So two Lagavulin and two Gremlin up fights. Uh, again, getting collect on the first turn. Um, I don't know what I would headbutt. Um, I don't think I'll headbutt anything. So let's uh, see. I don't want to headbutt. Actually, Shockwave Exhaust. Let's do Shockwave, then headbutt. Okay. And then Meditate uh, ends my turn, right? So yeah, let's do Collect, Miracle, Med... Oh, fine. Yeah, I'll meditate the headbutt. It's okay. Or Incoming. Luckily, he's weakened. So I can do Iron Wave. This arm is pretty useless. Um, I think I need to upgrade. Could upgrade a headbutt for another Iron Wave. Sure. Let's do Iron Wave. Actually, I think I'll just do headbutt without the iron, uh, without the armaments. Yeah, let's just do headbutt here, and I'll put the iron wave back. Come. Okay. Mm. Fifteen. Okay, so this is tempting. I have a lot of energy. Uh, let's play the dark embrace and then um, crescendo. Okay. All right, consecrate weave. Yeah, the enemy is vulnerable too, so that should be enough. All right, perfect. This one too. Good. Got Bottle of Lightning. Before I pick that up, let's see what I get here. Another Havoc. I think that's the only card I already have. And then Bottle of Lightning. I'm going to pick up, choose a skill. Sarge come with this card in your hand. I wonder if that, if that should be the Crescendo. A little risky, but um, the only other good choice would be the Battle Trance. For extra card draw. But I think I'll risk it. Let's go with the Crescendo. Let's make sure I can enter Wrath and one-shot things. Okay. Uh, do I need to upgrade that Crescendo? Uh, let me upgrade the Disarm first. Uh, where was it? Here. Okay. And I feel like, I don't know, with Ancient he said I think I should be fine. I don't think I need to upgrade that crescendo, but who knows. Actually, yeah, this would be enough to kill, right? Consecrate, conclude. That's exactly why I wanted to have a crescendo in my opening hand. Got a power potion. I probably won't go for rare cards. Um, how many concludes do I have? Two. How many weaves do I have? Just one. Let's go for a third conclude then. And then let's gain more strength here. Okay. All right. Guardian. Yeah, here entering Wrath is a little dangerous unless you start off with uh, a Tranquility, so that's good. Uh, let's do Inflame. Do I want to... Wait, I don't want to transform yet. So I think I'll just do Crescendo. It's a little bit a little bit of a wasted turn. Let me drink the Power Potion. Establishment, Juggernaut, Fire Breathing. Yeah, none of these are great. Maybe Establishment. It's not like I have an energy problem, but probably don't really need Juggernaut. Let's go with the Establishment, I guess. Um, okay, let's do Crescendo. I'll do follow-up, and then next turn I can do the Flying Sleeves. Okay. Um, Heavy Blade is a good amount of damage. Uh, let's do Weave. Then Heavy Blade. I could Armament it too. Might not be a bad idea. Wait, if I Armament the Miracle, I'll get extra energy, right? Uh, but no, I think it makes more sense to Armament the Heavy Blade. All right, let's do that. 68, that's not bad. And then I can do Flying Sleeves and Miracle Conclude. Okay, that was a good turn. Now, defense is going to be a problem here, although this is, looks like a pretty good hand. I could also do Meditate, keep the Tranquility, right? Yeah, let's just shrug it off. Oh, it depends a little bit on what the trigger hits. I think it might be better to do Power Through instead. Okay, and then I can Meditate that Power Through. That's really good. Okay. Though I do need a little bit extra. Yeah, Prostrate does it. Okay, so uh, Prostrate, Power Through, 
And then I can even do Clothline. That way he'll be weakened next turn. And I could do Consecrate if I wanted to. Why not? Now I have a Protect as well. Okay, I got really lucky with the draw here. Uh, 12 incoming. The Protect would be enough. Um, I guess I can do... Yeah, let's do Empty Body. Um, wheel Kick. Okay. And then um, I'll do Evaluate. That should allow me to be fully defended. Crush Joints. And this would transform already. Maybe I'll wait a little bit. Sense of time will get cheaper that way too. Okay. Well, I guess now he's not vulnerable anymore. A little too late for that pressure points, but it's fine. Let's do pressure points and then I'll do Sands of Time. And actually, I'm pretty close to being able to kill here. Ooh, too bad I can't use that disarm yet. I should have done Weave. Uh, didn't matter. Um, I think I can kill if I do. Yeah, if I do protect and then cut through fate, that's enough to kill. Awesome. All right, perfected. Three out of four elites in the boss. We got a stance potion and yeah, let's go for the popper modifier. It's going to be, I mean, whatever I take, it's going to be one out of 60 cards, right? So it's going to be hard to guarantee that I'll draw it. So Sneko Eye, I, I think I end up regretting it yesterday. Let me see. Let's sort by cost here. So I have one, two. Okay, so I only have a nine zero cost cards. How many high cost cards do I have? One, two, I have 10 more than one cost card. It's actually pretty even. Maybe, hmm, just from my bad experience yesterday, I don't think I'll go with the Snake Y. And Rooney Pyramid might be weird in this that sort of deck. Let's go with the Slaver's Caller. Doing Boston Elite Combats, get extra energy at the start of your turn. Yeah, it's a safe choice. Okay, I do have a lot of gold. Good thing I have Courier. If I don't have to go for a shop here, I can try to get one on the next act. Unfortunately, two Elite Paths. Um, yeah, they all converge here. If I get to that elite on the left, I'll get three early question marks. And then I can, to get another one, yeah, to get four question marks, I would have to ha hit two shops, which is fine. In the middle, I'll get, um, wait, no. Yeah, no, in the middle, I'll get, I calculate that right, right? Yeah, just three question marks in one shop. And on the right side, I'll just have one question mark total. So I think, yeah, if I'm perfect, if I'm maximizing question mark rooms, I should go on the left. And I do want to maximize question mark rooms to potentially get enough curses. All right, 10 incoming. Uh, let's do... Can't do crescendo, uh, conclude and tranquility. Don't want to take too much damage. Let me keep the crescendo for later then. So I think I'll just um, armaments the headbutt. Okay. Then headbutt that armaments and then conclude. All right. And then here, let's do crescendo. I'll... Um, I don't want to play Sense of Time, but that seems a little silly. Let me upgrade the Flying Sleeves, play that first, and then I'll see what the Havoc hits. That's the pressure points, okay. Mm -hmm. And then the Sense of Time should be enough to kill. Good. Got a Fire Potion, Tranquility, Indignation, Shrug It Off. Indignation is another way to enter Wrath, but I have two Shrug It Offs and two Tranquilities. Yeah, for the Collective Bonus, let's go with another Shrug It Off. Okay. All right, Shelled Parasite. Uh, let's start with uh, Weave, then Cut Through Fate. Include might be nice. Yeah, I probably don't need a headbutt afterwards. I would like to defend some way if I can. Empty Body's coming up afterwards too. And uh, yeah, unfortunately I can't really defend, so let's just do Conclude. Come. Okay. Mm -hmm. 18. Uh, prostrate, Empty Body. I guess I can do Crescendo and then Sense of Time and then Empty Body. Might not be a bad idea. Let's do that. Still taking some damage, actually. Let's Warcry. I'm not sure if I need to put anything back. Um, oh, actually, I didn't realize how close I was to killing. Let's keep the... Uh, um, let's keep the cloth line because that should be enough to kill here. Good. All right, took a little bit of damage there. Not a big fan of that. Rage might not be a bad idea. I don't have any of these, right? I don't think I saw a um, Sword Boomerang at all. Yeah. Uh, let's take the Rage. I am a little worried about not being able to defend sufficiently. Um, special Relic is... Fine. Yeah, let's go with it. We got Mutagenic Strength. Strategy combo 3 Strength at the end of your first turn. Lose 3 Strength again. Come. And then here, Ritual Dagger is going to be too hard to get out of this many cards. Let's go for the gold. And remove a card. I don't think there's anything I need to remove. Come. Uh, yeah, let's uh, gain some more Strength. Okay, Gremlin Leader, who is attacking me on turn one. Um, although I do have a power through. That alone is not going to be enough. Is there anything else I can do? Yeah, that's a problem. I don't have any card draw, which makes me think maybe I should have taken the Battle Trance. 
Um, there's nothing that can give me card draw. There's nothing I can do to kill. Actually, I don't have any attacks. I have two crescendos, which is interesting. Yeah, nothing I can do. Uh, let's do inflame power through, but unfortunately... I, I guess I can meditate the uh, power through. Yeah, fine. Hmm. If I had a weakness potion, that might have helped. Would have been a 60. No, that still would not have been enough, right? All right, so here I have... I can do the... Uh, well, Wrath Conclude, which does deal a lot of damage. Uh, I can also... Here, let's do Crescendo. Then upgrade the uh, Flying Sleeves. Play that. Iron Wave. And then do Conclude. Okay. Oh, I don't have a way to exit Wrath. I did not think about that. Probably should have thought about that. Let's do Disarm, Consecrate, Iron Wave. And then I'll do Miracle Collect. Okay. Uh, Sands of Time should be enough to kill here, right? Yeah, 50 damage. Good. Didn't perfect this one, unfortunately. Okay. We got Mobbing. When you view Climb a Floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at a shop, as well as Snack Oil. Fine, let me drink the fruit juice here so I can take the Snack Oil potion. And then I don't have any of these. Second one is fine. Flame Barrier might be a little better. Um, and yeah, to go to get another Crush Mark Room, I have to hit the shop. Um, membership card is perfect. 50% discount on all products. That's really good. I can kind of go crazy here. Uh, let's take another Armand's for 10 gold. Infernal Blade. Feel no pain. Uh, unfortunately, I can't get any collector bonuses on any of these. Let me focus a little bit on the relics. Vajra is very cheap. Starting to come with one strength. And Ceramic Fish. Whenever you add a card to get a deck, gain 9 gold. Should probably grab that sooner. Or Kalkum might come in handy often if you end your turn without blocking 6 block. And I don't think I need uh, I need the rest. I still have another shop coming up later. So let me just buy the cheap cards. So Indignation, another Tranquility, another Pressure Points, another Protect. Okay. And then I don't think I need Evolve. Let's take Dual Wield. I don't want a rare card. I think I can stop here. Yeah, this is this has been a pretty good shop. Okay. All right. We got Internal Feather. For every five cards in your deck, you'll 3 HP whenever you enter a rest site. That's nice. I do have a rest site coming up. And then didn't get a curse, but I got the war paint up and pick up over two random skills. That was a crescendo and a pressure points upgraded. Here I healed back to full. And I wonder, I mean, I don't know if I need to upgrade the crescendo, but I can't think of anything better. Let's upgrade the crescendo. Might as well. It's in my opening hand. Let's figure out a way to get more card draw in my opening hand. Uh, Lee's waffle up and pick up race to make sure we buy seven heal all of your HP. Let's take that. And then molten egg. Whenever you add an attack into your deck, upgrade it. I don't want to spend too much, but Mango is tempting. It is expensive. Up and pick up Bracer make sure be by 14. Okay. I think I should stop with the Relic. Okay, maybe I'll get the Ekabiko. Your first attack, you combat just 8 additional damage. Now I'll stop. Okay. Let's focus on the card. So let's do Third Eye. How many Shrug it off do I have? I have three. Okay, let's just get one more then. They're both 21. Okay. And how many Armaments do I have? I have two. Okay, let's get an Armament. Uh... I don't think I need mental, mental fortress. Let's go with the pummel strike. Pummel is fine. I do have some strength now. Another just lucky. Cloth line. Did I have enough? No, I have three. All right, let's get a fourth one. I don't think I need rampage or body slam for that matter. Um, who's my final boss here? Hmm. So bronze automaton. I wonder if I need any potions, but no, I can't really think of any, any that I desperately need. So let's just spend the rest of the gold. Simmering Fury, Flexure, Crescendo is good. Spot Weakness, and another Pressure Points. I think that gives me the Collector Bones for Pressure Points. Okay. All right, good. Like the Snake Plant here. Um, Yeah, this is the problem, right? Whenever I my opening hand just doesn't have any attacks, which is a huge shame. I mean, yeah, fine. Nothing I can do. I guess I can. I should keep the Snake Oil for the, for the upcoming boss fight because that might come in handy there. Uh, let's do... Well, I can do Crescendo and then exit with Tranquility, right? So let's do Crescendo, Weave, Prostrate. Um, I think I'll do Thunderclap and Sands of Time is 54. That's enough to kill. Good. Got an attack potion. Um, let's keep it. Let's take it over the fire potion. Empty Body and Trench Perseverance. Empty Body is the only one I already have a copy of. Come. Okay. And then Slavers. Hmm. Well, I can do Crescendo. Clothline will deal a lot of damage. Or Consecrate will deal more. Let's do Crescendo first. Okay. Then Shockwave. All right, so the question is, do I do a... Oh, wow. Did not realize how much damage the uh, Consecrate will do. It kills everything. Awesome. Got Nunchaku. Every time I play 10 attacks, get an extra energy. Another attack push I don't need. And 
Brush Joints is the only card I have two copies of, right? I think I just got a flex, but... Oh, actually, no. I have one copy of Crescendo. Well, uh, Crush Joints, sorry. I, I do like Crush Joints more than the flex, so let's take it. Okay. And then another upgrade. I'm seriously running out of ideas of what to upgrade. Maybe things that retain, so the Protects, or maybe something like Meditate. Sure. Okay, Bronze Automaton. I do have a Stance Potion, which is nice. Um, so I think I'm going to try to have a good first turn with the Sneko Oil. So let's do Miracle Crescendo. And then I think I'm going to do the Shockwave. It's not going to do anything, right? But fine, let's do... There's no reason to upgrade that either. Let's do Shockwave. And then I'll do... That's a nice Consecrate. Let me see what the Sneko Oil gives me first. Uh, okay. I guess, yeah, let me see what the attack potion gives me. Wallop, Iron Wave, uh, Wallop would be great to have in the next turn when I get attacked. Uh, for now, I guess I'll go with Just Lucky, sure. All right, so, uh, let's start with Consecrate, follow up. Then, um, I guess I'll just do Just Lucky. Okay, Tranquility is actually very important next turn. I, wait. Did I have a plan for exiting Wrath? I just realized I didn't. Well, good thing I have a, a Tranquility coming up, because that would have been a disaster otherwise. Um, all right, I guess I'll just do Prostrate and Just Lucky. I was really hoping that this turn would be great, and it turned out to be only dealing a little bit more than 100 damage while in Wrath, so not the best turn ever. And I am going to have trouble defending here. Um, Uh-oh. Let me see what these shrug it off. Because I need I need to get come up with 14 block. Right now I have only 13. Which is just... Oh, actually, I guess I have to protect. I didn't notice that. Okay. So, um, yeah, I can do... Well, let me see what the shrug it off. Well, I guess I can do protect and uh, iron wave, right? Yeah, let's do protect iron wave. And I can't do the wheel kick because I have to play the tranquility. And I'm worried that if I get something like um, the... Uh, I'm forgetting the, the conclude. If I get something like conclude with the Havoc, um, I won't be able to play the Tranquility. So I have to drink Tranquility first and then do Havoc. All right. Yeah, would have been better, of course, if I was in Wrath, but fine. This guy took Infernal Blade. Okay. This guy took the Deceive Reality. I would like that Deceive Reality back, actually. 16. So I do have to conclude and Pummel. Okay, so conclude is not enough to kill this guy, unfortunately. Let me hang on. Let's do Crescendo. And then I'll dual wield the pummel. Okay. And then, so conclude us 32. Uh, let's pummel this guy. Ooh, actually, Infernal Blade. I can play that too, right? Carnage is great. 48. Another pummel. And then conclude. Oh, I again forgot that I... Well, I guess I have the stance potion, right? So I should be fine. Let me see if I can kill here. So let's do Consecrate. Cut through Fate. Um, I can grab the just lucky, even though that's not ideal. Um, and I... Actually, it is ideal. Awesome. All right, perfect this one. Again, I got lucky with the card draw, uh, which is sort of what has to happen for me to perfect with the insanity, right? Omniscience would be great if I could have bottled it, but I already have the bottle lightning, so I can't get it. So let's go for Popper, or continue to go for Popper. Um, I don't think I need Black Star. I think I should be able to get to enough relics. I just need another shop. Probably don't need Busted Crown. Probably don't need Empty Cage either. Um, do I skip? Well, I guess if I skip, I can take the Black Star. Yeah, let's go with the Black Star. At least I'm just really going to defeat it. I didn't need it, but if I don't take anything else, might as well take this. All right, Time Eater. Might be a challenge. I have to get lucky again, basically. All right, three lead path in the middle with one, two question marks. So getting curses is probably going to be impossible. There's an early shop, though, so that might help. Um, path on the left has way more question marks, but still somewhat unlikely to get curses. So, yeah, let's go in the, in the middle. All right, so... Oh, a Kabiko Pummel is a lot of damage. Um, but unfortunately, I can't enter... Well, do I need to enter Wrath? Uh, I mean, this alone is going to be, uh, what, 85 damage? So that'll definitely kill something. Um, uh, well, hang on. Yeah, yeah, let's kill something. Uh, kill the one attacking me for the most. Okay. And then I can do um, Iron Wave and uh, Heavy Blade. As unfortunately, just a little shy of being able to kill, but close enough. Okay. Hmm. All right. And then here I can do Crescendo, Crush Joints, Thunderclap. 
and kill with the Cutthroat. Good. Okay. Empty Mind, Anger, Twin Strike. I don't think I have any of these. Uh, I guess I'll go with the Empty Mind for card draw. At this point, I think I'm a little desperate for card draw. Uh, sure, let's see what I get. Mind Blast would be great. Jack of all trades is fine. Flash of Steel is not bad. No Mind Blast. Deep Breath would give me card draw, although in a in a weird roundabout way. Let's take Deep Breath here. Here I'll take Jack of all trades and Flash of Steel is fine. Yeah. Um, since I am not guaranteed another shop, I only have one more question mark room left. Uh, let's go for the shop here. Try to spend all my gold. Kunai is interesting. Uh, I could take another Pummel. Uh, wait, I am guaranteed to get enough curses, uh, relics, right? Because I still have, I'm um, supposed to get four. So I don't need extra relics. Uh, let's focus on cards first. I already have enough uh, cloth on, right? Let's take another pummel. Um, Metallicize is just a great card. Let's take prostrate first. I already have enough shrug it off. So let's take Metallicize. Another one? Sure. I don't think I need Nirvana. Uh, let's do, I guess I can do another cloth on. It's not going to hurt. Wallop is a really good um, card. I should take it. Um, yeah, I, I unfortunately can't really get any collector bonuses out of these. I guess I'll take Bowling Bash. Okay, fine. And then I do want to take the Kunai. Every time I play three attacks in a single turn, gain one dexterity. And, uh, Colorless Potion or Flex Potion? Let's go with the Colorless Potion. Sure. Maybe a Flex Potion would have been better, because then in my first turn I have the Crescendo. I can really go crazy, but fine. Okay, so here... Clothline almost kills the Exploder, too. That's kind of nice. Uh, let's do Rage. Uh, Metallicize. Well, I can't. Well, you know what? I can also just enter Wrath and then kill with uh, the Cloth line here. Okay. Just have to make sure I don't get attacked. Okay, well, both attack me now. Great. And I don't have a way to exit Wrath. Um, all right. Great. Uh, let's do see what the Pummel Strike gives me. Um, at least I got Consecrate, which is nice. And then, can I kill with the Iron Wave? Yes, I can. Good. Got a little lucky there. Got a Fire Potion. Perfected Strike is not going to be great. How many Consecrates did I end up getting? Oh, just three. Okay, let's get a Collector Bonus for those. Okay. What am I doing on time, by the way? 30 minutes. That's good. I'm going uh, with a good pace. Uh, here, I do want to enter Wrath. Um, although, wow, this is a bad start. Uh, let's do Rage, Prostrate, Crescendo. And then Consecrate. Um, that is enough, right? Right, okay. Do need to make sure I draw enough attacks going forward. Wallop is really good in this situation. Let's do Wallop. And then I can do Simmering Fury for more card draw next turn. Mm -hmm. 100. Uh, let's do Jack of All Trades, which gives me Enlightenment, which makes the Clothline cheaper. So let's do that. And then Indignation for Vulnerability. Clothline, Consecrate, just lucky. And uh, next turn, I'll keep, I'll take another, or I'll play another cloth line. Okay. Mm, 90. Heavy blade is a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, do I want to, you know what? I'm going to meditate. Uh, let's meditate heavy blade and cloth line back. Sure. Oh, I, I guess I can't play both, but I think that should be fine. Um, so let's do miracle, pummel. Okay. Then Heavy Blade, and then um, I probably should do something like Feel No Pain and Deep Breath, hoping to make the Regret deal less damage. That didn't work, but fine. Okay. All right. Wor uh, worship, Signature Move, Just Lucky. I think I don't... Worship wouldn't be a bad idea, but I don't have uh, any of these, and I do have... Or any of the worship... Any other worships. I do have a few Just Luckies, right? Was it two? Uh, yes, it was two. Okay, so I should take it in hopes of getting a third one. Or a fourth one, I guess. Okay, Reptomancer. Again, not the best starter. Uh, although the Cutthroat does allow me to kill. And again, I am tempted to... Well, no, if I do Crescendo, I won't be able to kill. Unless the Cutthroat gives me another attack. Which I think I'm willing to risk also since I have a Fire Potion. So let's do Crescendo. Then do Cutthroat. I guess I can do it after the Rage. Um, Consecrate is fine, um, and then I can have to meditate next turn to be able to exit Wrath if needed. So let's do Consecrate, Pressure Points, Deceive Reality, and wait. Okay. Not getting attacked here, that's good. Um, cut through Fate, well, let's do Weave, Cut Through Fate. Okay. Just Lucky is pretty nice, I don't think I need True Grid, well, I might have needed True Grid, actually. Uh, let's kill this guy, well, let's do Weave first and Just Lucky. Uh, another just lucky next turn. Uh, yeah, probably don't need the armaments. Okay. And then one more weave. Uh, let's do shrug it off to do just lucky. And another weave. Pressure points might be nice. 16 damage next turn. 
And then I can do clothesline and meditate. And actually, I don't have a way to enter wrath again, do I? So, you know what? Let's do pressure points. Let's deal. That'll be a good amount of damage. Rarely do that much damage with pressure points, but why not? Okay. Yeah, so if I do miracle pressure points one and pressure points two, that's enough to kill. Awesome. All right, perfect. This one we got Omori. Negate the next curse to obtain. Since I, it's very unlikely I'll get curses, let's take it. This one's Lantern, so I just come with additional energy. A blessing of the fourth potion, which I don't need. And another palm strike or flying sleeves. How many do I have? I have um, one flying sleeves, and I think I just bought one pommel strike from a shop. I guess I'll go for a second flying sleeves then. And then for the next elite, um, I can either get an extra reset or regular fight. Since I don't really have anything to upgrade, let's just go for a regular fight instead. Hmm. Look at that nice pommel. Um, actually, look at that even nicer consecrate. Let's do that. Okay. And then Infernal Blade gives me Fiendfire, which I probably won't need. Let's see what this gives me. Headbutt. Doesn't matter what. And then Pummel. And then Fiendfire. Okay. Alright, Crescendo. Yes, is that my collector bonus for Crescendo? I have three. Awesome. Uh, ooh, actually, wait. How many pressure points do I have? I might have three of those as well. Um, I just want to check. Oh, no, I already have four of those. Okay, great. Let's get a collector bonus for Crescendo. I am getting a good number of collector bonuses, even though I have two colors available, which is pretty nice. Okay, yeah, see, I, I don't want to do Crescendo here. It's too risky. Although I do have the Tranquility. Fine, let's do Feel No Pain, Crescendo. Then uh, Pummel Strike. Almost kills the Backliner, but no, let's kill this guy first. Just to be sure. Uh, then I can do Clothesline to kill you, and then Metal Size. Okay. I can exit Wrath and then enter it again. Um, do I want to do it now? No, no, let's not do it now. Let's do uh, Consecrate. Jack of all trades gives me Master of Strategy, which might be useful in uh, getting a few more attacks. Leave, Consecrate, Bowling Bash. That's enough to kill. Good. Okay, Clothesline, Havoc, Hemikinesis. I have enough Clotheslines. I don't have any Hemikinesis. And I have just two Havocs. Let's take a third one. We got Preserved Insect, a little too late, but fine. Enemies in Elite Combats have 25% less HP. And then still don't need an extra rest site. Transient again. Okay. Um, I'll do Crescendo Clothline. And uh, I don't know if I should do the Shrug It Offs. I guess they don't hurt. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm hoping for maybe like a nice power. to see reality. Yeah, that, that works too. 60. Um, oh, that's great. I have two concludes and meditate in my hand. Let me see what the Havoc plays. That's Armament. Okay. I have to do conclude, right? All right. Huh. 75. Uh, let's do Simmering Fury. Another conclude. Um, wait. I am... Um, that's with weakness, right? I think I have to do safety and then conclude. Ooh, yeah. I miscalculated. Should have done a safety and protect and then conclude, but fine. Uh, let's do flex, consecrate, just lucky. And then check all trades gives me mayhem, which I probably don't really need. Uh, it's not the last turn, so I don't want to play the sense of time, but I don't think I have much choice here. Um, let's just do tranquility, and then I'll do protect. Still taking a little bit of damage there, but fine. Um, and next turn I can do the sense of time. Uh, all right, so I can do miracle, wallop, sense of time. And um, that is not yet enough. Pummel strike. And uh, yeah, this is enough. Okay, surprisingly, took a, a surprisingly large amount of damage here. Twin strike iron wave armaments. I have three armaments. How many iron waves do I have? Because I thought, oh, I already had enough from the beginning. So let's go for a collector bonus for armaments. Okay. All right, giant head. Can I deal double damage here? That would be great. Okay, not those, this opener. Uh, let me start with prostrate infernal blade. Both line. Okay, so 32 with Rass will be 64. I'm trying to think if there's any way I can deal more than 100 this turn. Let me see what the colorless potion gives me. Enlightenment Discovery. Well, it plays two cards, so that's good. Ray, Sever Solar Devotion. Devotion might allow me to enter Divinity. Well, more so than the Prey does. Let's do that. Okay, well, what am I up to now? 37 with um, double damage. That's uh, 74. All right, so if I do pressure points, that's 80. And then this will bring it up to another probably 90. That's not... Well, if I do Miracle... I mean, I'm too lazy to calculate. Let's just try it. So... Oh, wait. I just realized I can't fully defend. 
Well, I guess I don't really have much choice then. Uh, let's do Miracle Crescendo. Then 91. And if I play the follow-up, I lose the Akabiko, so that doesn't make sense. Does the stance potion count as in a card? Well, it, it won't be useful anyway. Um, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll do 91. That's better than nothing, but yeah. No way I can fully defend. Might as well stay in Wrath then. Uh, well, I guess I can exit it too. Uh, let's do Just Lucky. Shrug it off is probably not necessary here. Flying Sleeves, Empty Mind. Okay. And then Simmering Fury and Havoc to play a Sense of Time. All right. So I'm dealing a good amount of damage. 46, uh, 26 incoming. Let's do Flex. Uh, Deceive Reality. I think just to play more cards, I'll do Tranquility and then Crescendo. And then... Um, uh, what do I do here? I guess I can I can exit Wrath with Tranquility again. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why I did that. Cause, well, I guess I can weaken with Clothline and then tra do Tranquility. I guess I'm taking damage anyway, so it doesn't really matter if I take more. Though I should be a little careful with my HP. I have Night Terror, so I don't really want to rest. Uh, let's do... Oh, I can enter Divinity. Hang on, hang on. Can I deal double damage that way? So if I do Prostrate Armaments the Clothline... 64. Safety. Now, I'm pretty sure if I was a little more patient here, I could have probably tried to go for the um, overkill modifier at least. Let's grab the clothesline here. I think that should be enough to kill. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here I should be uh, here. Spot weakness, pummel, and that's enough to kill. Yeah, probably should, should have tried a little hard to go for overkill. Got an explosive potion. Already have enough armaments. I'll take another Dark Embrace and then Anchor. Surge combo with 10 block and Bottle Tornado. Pick up, choose a power card. Surge combo with this card in your hand. I wonder if that should be the upgrade Dark Embrace for card draw. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. The other option is Feel No Pain for block, but I think I'll go with the Dark Embrace. Okay. All right. Um, you know what? At this one, I don't actually want curses. So, um, wait, I start off 72, right? So 15 would be 80. Uh, well, I need to get to 102 to get extra points. That seems very unlikely at this point. So I think I'm okay losing max HP because I don't really want... Well, I'm okay with the um, Madnesses. I don't want to lose more HP because I'm a little low already. Okay. And I can even... Yeah, I can lose one... Wait. I got uh, one potion. That's five max HP. Then uh, Lee's Waffle, that's another seven. So 12 total. And then Mango, that's 14. So 26 total. I just lost five. So that's 21. Yeah, so I can rest at the final rest side. I might want to do that just to be safe. Um, all right, let's start with Darkroom Base. Uh, prostrate. Do I want to do Crescendo? Follow up would kill something. Flash of Steel is nice. Fine, let's do Crescendo. Uh, let me do Flash of Steel first, then I can play the free follow-up. All right. Um, actually, oh, this is not enough to kill. Look at that. Uh, let's do Clothline. Actually, let me just kill this guy. All right. That way I don't have to deal with the Spiker anymore. Mm, they're both not attacking. That's good. Let's do Consecrate Weave. And then Headbutt. Good. Okay. Iron Wave Crush Jones Warcry. I do want to check how many crush joints I have. Two. And I only have one Warcry, so let's take a third crush joints. Okay. Mm, Nemesis. Yeah, a little risky, but I think I should enter Wrath here as well. Let's do Empty Mind. And then Jack of All Trades. Well, I guess I have Meditate to exit Wrath if uh, something horrible happens. Let's do Crescendo Havoc. Uh, just lucky first, that tells me exactly what I have next turn. So let's get rid of these two. Then Havoc, uh, follow up first maybe. Havoc plays Clothline, very nice. Actually, I can kill here, good. All right, got Dreamcatcher. Whenever you rest, you may add a card to your deck. Blood Vial at the Starvage Combat, heal two HP. An Essence of Steel, which I'll take over the Explosive Potion and another Prostrate. How many do I have? Uh, perfect, that's a Collector Bonus on Prostrate. Okay, all right, let's rest here. Uh, Armaments, Wave the Hand, Warcry. Yeah, I think I already have Collector Bonus for the Armaments, right? Let's take the Warcry. Alright. Okay, I'm a little speeding up here because I only have two more minutes. 21 incoming right off the bat. Um, this arm is huge. Just huge. Let's do Dark Embrace. Uh, drink the Essence of Steel. This arm... 
Uh, well, it's huge, but it's still not enough. Well, no, it is, it is, it is. So let's do the armaments. Might as well armaments the miracle and then pressure points and just wait. Okay. Hmm. Love that Akabiko active, right? Um, I need to defend somehow here against 23. That is a lot. Um, let's do crescendo. Then clothline. Okay, then cut through fate. Uh, this is not enough block. I think I have to get rid of them, hoping to get some better block. Uh, nope, that is not it either. I, th I don't think there's a way I can fully defend here. Consecrate. Um, I need to play three cards, and one of them is the Stance Potion of the Infernal Blade. Uh, crush joints. And then, sure, let's drink. Let's exit, uh, exit Wrath here. Oh, uh, well, might as well do this. Okay. Yeah, no way I could have fully defended, unfortunately. Just didn't draw the right defensive cards, or any defensive cards for that matter. Uh, let's do Prey, Crush Joints. Yeah, since I'm not perfecting anymore, let's try to speed this up. Um, I'll do Deep Breath. And again, didn't draw any good defensive cards. I don't want to do another Deep Breath. Okay. A little over half a, mi half a minute left. Um... Okay, I'm definitely playing too slow for this to work. Let's just spot weakness, feel no pain. Um, flying sleeves, and uh, can I play two more cards? Or do I want to... Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I'm not getting the uh, speedster, or not speedster. Yeah, speedster modifier, I'm not getting that. Actually, I guess I'm not getting the light speed modifier. I will get the speedster. Um, I think I can transform here, so let's do... Oh, I can only play three cards. Um, you know what? Let's do prostrate indignation. And then I'll do Sands of Time. That'll force him to transform next turn. And then here I can do the Weave, just lucky. I don't know why I didn't play the Flex here. Because then I can do Heavy Blade, Weave again. Sands of Time, Clothline. Is it? Am I one short? I luckily have a Fire Potion. 24 seconds. At the end it went pretty quickly, but... Yeah, 24 seconds short. Alright, 1428. That's not too bad. So let's see, out of the, uh, what is that, nine elites, I perfected six, uh, which is fine. Uh, oh, did miss one boss. I got popper, eight collector bonuses. I think this definitely helped. I took a DN, was very easy. Money, money is fine. And then, uh, yeah, speedster instead of the, uh, wait, speedster instead of the light speed modifier, right? Um, yeah, so let's think. If I perfect the last boss, it would be 15, 25, uh, 28, and then 25 seconds faster would be uh, 15, 53. Um, um, and then overkill and, and combo, of course, would give me a higher score, but those admittedly were not going to be easy to get, especially not while keeping, uh, time. So, okay, 1553 would be what Flicknickum would have gotten as well. Okay, so I end up being 22nd, um, just a few points uh, above STA Walker, which might be just, at the end, there were some opportunities to go for either rest sites or, um, regular fights, and I chose regular fights more often, so that might, that might explain the two-point difference. Uh, Steven was exactly 25 points less. This could also just be a uh, lack of collector bonuses because collector bonuses are, are somewhat based on luck. Um, okay, let's go up the chain. Um, Pelts, 25 points more. Again, could be something there. Warpal, 50 points more. All right. Actually, th that could be overkill in combo, right? Because that, that that's definitely something. Combo might have been possible if I played a little bit more with the Weave, maybe? Um, and then, uh, yeah, Flicknickum and Hobo got a really, yeah, Hobo got a really great score, because I think if I, if I did everything I planned to do, I would have gotten what Flicknickum got, which is 1553, and then Hobo got another 50 points more, so he must have perfected everything, uh, got all the sort of small things I got here and there, and then in addition to that, go for overkill and combo, or just, again, got luckier with the collector bonuses. I do wonder if my mistake was, end up having too many relics, more than 25, right? I think I had 26 or 27. So maybe I shouldn't have bought that many relics in the shop instead of just focused on cards because each relic that cost me, you know, maybe the, the mango that cost me, um, I think it was like 120 gold. I could have bought three or four cards that way. So that might have translated into collector bonuses. So I ended up with only eight. Uh, let me know in comments if you were able to get more collector bonuses or less and had to compensate with some other way getting enough points. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.